I used to sing every morning, you know, around six o'clock, getting ready for school. I used to sing the song, Oh, man, you have to live. Oh, be is why you pick a go. And my uncle hated it because he was usually tired around that time. You know, he came back from work at around two o'clock in the morning. And he has a small girl shouting, pick a go, pick a go in the morning. So till today, I'm still called pick a go at home. One day, our principal came to our classes. It was, you know, during the school choir competitions. So he didn't have enough members for the competition. So he started going class to class, class to class. When he came to our class, he said, I need members to come join the choir. And of course, I kept, I loved singing, of course, in a bathroom, in a kitchen at home. I just never took it serious. And I, I sat down only because I saw other people standing up. Then I did. That's how my principal discovered me. Before I discovered that I had a special talent, my, my grandma sort of knew, you know. She would pray with me before I went for competitions, and her being there at the competitions, that was encouragement enough, you know. I knew that my grandma was there, my grandma believes in me, my grandma is very supportive, and my grandma's friends, because she always told them about how good I am. You should have seen her. She was on stage and everybody just kept quiet. <laughs> Winning the school choir competition in 2004, I got a scholarship to go study at TUT, Tony University of Technology, the BTEC there. It was really hard. You suddenly faced with music theory that you've never seen before. You see, it's like you see math. Everything is like, okay, I have to play piano. And I thought, okay, I'm not gonna give up. Fine, Paul, you didn't have a piano. You didn't do any music theory. You have the voice, you have what it takes, you, you hear that a lot. So it's fine, stop crying now and work hard and you'll be fine. And I remember Mr. Zungu, Tami Zungu, he was my singing teacher then. He would say, nothing good comes easy. Until today, I remember that nothing good comes easy. In as much as you have the talent, you need to educate your talent. I don't speak fluent Italian, but I do speak Italian. And when I sing, I know what I'm singing about because I did it at school. I can read my music. I don't need anyone to help me. Why? Because I did that at school. That's the difference between you and somebody who didn't go to school. You know how to move on stage. You know how to carry yourself. What I love about opera, it allows me to be me. It allows me to go places I've never been in my mind and my soul as well. I love, I love my career, I love what I do, you know. I wanna, I wanna live from it and I believe I can live from it and have my own house from what I'm doing. We all allowed to dream big, you know. I want to see myself at the Metropolitan Opera House one day, and I believe I will get there by just hard work and remaining humble. Hard work, hard work, hard work. <laughs> yes! Thank you to the Standard Bank, because what it says to a young person like myself, I still have a long way to go, but I'm recognized now it says to me, people do believe in you and people do want you to forge ahead.